There's a chance whoever buys it will just tear it down. If someone buys it, they can do whatever they want with it. You wouldn't care at all? Would you? Sure. Everywhere I look, I see a piece of one of our adventures. Everywhere I look, I just see her. Allison, we could go grab a bite. Start this tomorrow? No. The only way to get this done is to do it. After you. Uh, did you smoke something before you left Fireweed? The door's right there. Locked. Well, it's a good thing I remembered this. You sure that's the right key? Yes. Maybe someone changed the lock. Who would change the lock on us? I don't know. We're screwed. You got a plan B? Yeah. We find another way in. I never knew a locked door that could keep the crafty goblins out. Yeah, we had a million ways in and out of this old house. At least one of them's gotta work. I could break a window. You know civilized people don't do that, right? Oh, so we're civilized now? Well, maybe not. But we are trying to sell this place, and broken windows aren't exactly an... <sighs> the crafty goblins. I haven't thought about them in forever. Or should I say, us. We almost spent more time as goblins than we did as kids. Oh, do you remember all the other characters? The moon hag, the ice king, the old bear? Most of them, I think. Doesn't seem like the greenest source of energy. Not like she had the money for solar power. At least we don't have any use for this right now. Luckily. Remember the snowstorm in 2004? Marianne had us digging for hours. I remember she made it a game, at least. That's right. We made tunnels to escape the ice troll. You gotta hand it to her. She can make us do anything if she turned it into a goblin tail. It's no good. I can't open this one either. It's okay. We'll find another way in. Open sesame. Let me guess. It's locked. Yup. Know any other secret passwords? Hmm. Honeydew? <laughs> nope. So, any idea how we're gonna get in? Hmm. We used to play under the house when we were kids. Yeah, we stashed all our goblin treasure down there. There was a hatch, right? That opened up into the laundry room? There was. I hope I can still fit. I'm a little taller than I was at 11. Remember how mad she'd get if we didn't use the compost? And she always knew when we were lying. Waste not, or kiss the planet goodbye. Doesn't seem like the greenest source of energy.
At least the shed's still standing. Yep. I don't want to think about what might be living inside it, though. Well, I can't believe these are still here. Yeah. We should hide them so they don't frighten away potential buyers. Remember how mad she'd get if we didn't use the compost? And she always knew when we were lying. Waste not, or kiss the planet goodbye. No way. You really want to go out there? No, you're right. You need a hand with that? No, it should be fine. Okay. If we just get this board out of the way, I could probably squeeze through. So we need something to pry it off. It's screwed in pretty good. We need a screwdriver. At least the shed's still standing. Yep. I don't want to think about what might be living inside. How did she get around on these roads with this thing? She'd rather have broken her neck than spend money on a new one. Yeah, still waiting for those bikes she promised us. Uncle Eddie got me one. Hey, it's locked, all right. Okay. Should be something in here that'll work. She did not like us using her tools. She was probably just afraid we'd hurt ourselves. Or she thought we'd go on a rampage and tear up her precious plants. And we would have, so... Homemade cleaning products may be better for the planet, but they do not have the same shelf life. She did not like us using her tools. She was probably just afraid we'd... Hey, I see a screwdriver. Now all we need to do is get inside. Wait, I, um... I'm feeling something strange. room until everything looks as clean as a whistle. Ugh. This is the millionth time I've gotten in trouble because of you. You and your big mouth. Hey, you were thinking the same thing. You just weren't brave enough to tell her. What good would it do? It's not like she ever listens to us anyway. Well, I'd rather scream it right in her stupid face than be a quiet little mouse. Oh, we forgot the key. We need to put it back. Maybe we could hide it somewhere. You know, for fun. Goblins are supposed to help the princess, not play mean tricks. Whatever, you're not fun. I'm only trying not to make her even worse. Whoa, did that just happen? I don't know, but I saw it too. It felt like it did when we used to share thoughts with our voice. It did, but that was a memory of us 10 years ago, right? I, I vaguely remember it happening. I think so. And uh, that's new, right? Yeah. We could share thoughts and feelings, but we never replayed memories like that. Why would it happen? And why that memory? I don't know. It's pretty eerie. It's weird, but our voice was always a good thing. This could be too. I'm feeling something again. Near the barn. Yeah, me too. Hurry! Let's go see the silent frog. Coming. I'm coming. What? Stop sulking. I told you already. I'm sorry. No, you're not. <laughs> okay. Guess you don't want to see what I put in the treasure room then. What? No, I want to see. I guess we know where to search now. We just have to remember which one is the silent frog. So, which one of you is hiding? Damn, where's the key? Seriously? Kidding. Oh, come on. <laughs> okay, okay, sorry. Nice job keeping a secret, buddy.
Got it. All this for a screwdriver? You got a better idea how to get in? Huh. Who left this box here? It looks brand new. If it wasn't me, has someone been out here recently? Guess it's your lucky day, bird friends. You sure you want to go in there? This was our very first den, remember? Who knows what lives down there now? Everything okay down there? Tyler? Ah! Oh, that's not funny! <laughs> then why am I laughing? Okay, fine, but you're still an idiot. All right, I'm going in for real this time. Okay, I'll see you at the front door in a few minutes.
left again after the goblins. Nope. It was on the right. My bad. Wait. That was our treasure? It's just trash. We could make treasure out of anything. Our imaginations were that powerful. Pink. It always had to be pink. Marianne grilled us about all these missing dishes, but a goblin never gives up their treasure. Pass the treasure. Straight, Straight ahead. ahead. You know, I almost convinced myself our voice was just another childhood fantasy. Me too. But we really are connected. Coming. Are you okay? I'll live. Good to hear your voice again. Yeah, same here. So, coming in or what? Just working up to it. Well, 
We're here. Here we are. So, how do we get started? We figure out what to keep, what to trash, and see what else this house might be trying to show us. All right, let's see. Broken shelf, broken jar, and the washing machine, broken. <laughs> the dryer never worked to begin with. Marianne thought dryers were straight up evil. Energy hog. I hated hanging drippy laundry. I refused to change for a few weeks once, so I wouldn't have to do it. Huh. This bathroom still smells like Marianne. Good scrub, and we'll be rid of that, too. I tried to bury this dress in the backyard, but Marianne caught me. It was a pretty dress. Yeah, well, we both know pretty was never my thing. We were so competitive about who measured taller. Like, we actually had anything to do with it. And after all that, it ended in a tie. Yeah, none of that crazy stretching I did made any difference. Mom, about me joining the hockey team? Mom! Sorry, what? Uh, not now. Maybe next year. But you promised! Keep whining, and my next year will become never. Can you cut my hair? Your hair is fine. But I want to cut it short, really short. What? Look, I'm tired, and I'm busy. Let's talk about this later. You always say that. Marianne said no to everything. It made me so pissed. She was trying to save the planet way before Al Gore made it cool. Has Al Gore ever made anything cool? Nah. I guess she was right about one thing, but you can't really blame anyone for not listening to crazy Marianne Ronan. I didn't realize how much I missed the smell of firewood. I miss the cold winter nights curled up here. My big mugs of hot cocoa. Yeah. Marianne was so tired she was usually asleep on the couch. Oh, that's why it was so nice. No Marianne. We'd use our voice so we didn't wake her up. And then we'd be up all night telling stories and watching the fire die. And Marianne was none the wiser. Uh, I don't remember these. It's probably one of Marianne's unfinished masterpieces. There's two of them. Maybe they were us. In some, she took so many pictures. Yeah. Wow. I'm so embarrassed for us. Many Da Vinci's we were not. She saved every drawing we ever did. There's a couple of these I might keep. Marianne's room. Let's not go in there until we absolutely have to. Agreed. If you don't come up soon, I'm gonna take whatever I want from our bedroom. No way, wait for me. Now this, this feels like home. Whenever we asked for a TV, she'd just bring home a big stack of books. I think she did us a favor with that one. 
Mm, you may not agree when we start digging into the HBO back catalog. We'll see. Whenever we asked for a TV, she'd just bring home a big stack of books. I think she did us a favor with that one. Mm, you may not agree when we start digging into the HBO back catalog. We'll see. Look what I found. What? Only our greatest creation, the Book of Goblins. <laughs> Seriously? It was in that chest the whole time? All these stories. I had ideas for so many more. Marianne wrote a lot of them. Yeah. It's one of the only times I remember her being at peace. Ah, where is it? You looking for something in particular? My diary. You never told me about it. Yeah. With the way Marianne was, I tried extra hard to keep it a secret. Marianne. Yeah, that day she found out about it. Mom? Mom! Mom, where is it? What did you do with it? <sighs> what now? I can't find my diary. I know you stole it. Give it back. Sweetie, whatever I do, it's just for your benefit. You read it, didn't you? You had no right to do that. I have the right to do whatever I need to protect my little girl. I'm not your girl. I hate you. You will always be my little girl. And no matter how hard you fight me, I'll fight twice as hard to keep you safe. I never saw it coming. She told me right to my face. She was willing to hurt me, to keep me from transitioning. Tyler, there is no way you could have known she'd go that far. I want my diary back. Her room was the only place I didn't look. Okay, but do you need to get it, like, now? That diary was important to me, Allison. Writing down my thoughts helped me realize who I am. Well, then let's go find it. You think her room is still locked? It always was. I'm not looking forward to going in there.